Ladies and gentlemen, hey hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. If you're a PlayStation player, you've probably spent the past day or so trying out the Black Ops Cold War Alpha. It actually offers a lot of content despite it just being an alpha. Uh, not gonna lie, kind of has me curious as to how different the beta is gonna be, considering we've been able to play on five different maps, try out upwards of like 15 different weapons, and plenty of other elements too. But regardless, we've finally got our hands on Black Ops Cold War, and because of that, everybody is talking about how they feel about the game. And these discussions have actually sparked some response from Treyarch, and alongside that, Treyarch has also revealed some things they plan on changing in the future as we approach the full launch of the game. So today we're going over probably the hottest discussion stemming from the alpha so far, skill-based matchmaking, uh, what Treyarch has said to expect in the future, and even more. So if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new to the channel, if you want to stay on top of the latest Black Ops Cold War, Modern Warfare, and Warzone news and intel, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. Also, my friends over at G Fuel have bumped code IMMORTAL up to 30% off to celebrate the Cold War Alpha. So if you want to grab a new tub, a shaker, a starter pack, or anything else to prep for the beta and or full launch, code IMMORTAL has got you covered. Anyways, first and foremost, we've got to talk about everybody's favorite skill-based matchmaking because this is, without a doubt, the biggest topic regarding the Alpha so far. I mean, like literally three hours into the alpha, Twitter was absolutely exploding. Uh, everybody was talking about it. I believe the term skill-based matchmaking was actually trending at one point as well. But basically, here's the backstory to this and really how I've seen it factor into gameplay. Of course, skill-based matchmaking or SBMM has kind of been a plague to Modern Warfare and Warzone in the eyes of a lot of players, I would say. So pretty much everybody was hoping it wouldn't be a feature here in Cold War especially in the alpha of all things, right? And uh, to start, when the alpha first dropped, things actually seemed pretty normal. Now keep in mind, this is all based off of my experience when it comes to what it feels like the game has. And even after playing a handful of games with my buddy Exclusive Ace and talking about the subject there, even he said because this is an alpha, it's pretty hard to determine whether or not it's actually in the game. So really, it is all based around the feels. Uh, you may feel something different than I do, so at the end of the day, that's really what it comes down to. But yeah, at the start of the alpha, I jumped on right as it went live and played for about an hour or so, and the games felt absolutely amazing. You know, I felt like I was completely dominating, I was going on kill streaks, I was dropping high kill, high KD games, and then I got off to go edit yesterday's video. Uh, fast forward to about two or three hours later, I get back on, and the lobbies feel entirely different, right? Uh, I was getting jump shotted around corners. I had dudes trying to slide cancel. The lobby behavior was noticeably different right off the bat. But then as the night continued, honestly, lobbies just felt really inconsistent. Uh, some games felt really easy. Some games felt really sweaty. But I will say without a doubt, I felt like the sweatiest of lobbies all took place in 6v6 and not in the combined arms mode, which is 12v12. Which, if there is skill-based matchmaking, would make sense because usually Ground War doesn't have SBMM in effect. So, from my experience, I almost felt like there was some kind of party-based matchmaking in a sense, and even my friends that I was playing with, uh, Ink Slasher, Ace, Espresso, they all seemed to feel the same way for the most part as well. And then, some lobbies definitely did not feel like the connection was the one being prioritized, and instead, it was skill. But it wasn't a constant thing like it was in Modern Warfare either. So, that said, and backstory now out of the way, Martin Donlon, who is the director of technology over at Treyarch, took to Twitter and mentioned a few pretty interesting things about skill-based matchmaking. He actually quote-tweeted someone who said, COD4, MW2, MW3, and BO2 were such better games because they had no skill-based matchmaking, and here Martin said, uh, yeah, they all had SBMM. And why would Martin know that? Well, apparently, Martin was the person who wrote the implementation of skill-based matchmaking. Then he also replied to a tweet from Astonish that said, Well, from a player's perspective, SBMM in Modern Warfare was extreme and I don't want a repeat of that. Martin said, Perfectly valid viewpoint to have, SBMM is one of the many, many tunable parameters in a matchmaking system. It's funny to watch people talk about it like it's just a big switch that can be turned on or off. So, Martin says it can be tuned, just like a weapon for instance, meaning at some point we could have really strong matchmaking enabled, and next week it could be very minimal. Uh, that is essentially what he's alluding to here, but he doesn't really confirm or deny skill-based matchmaking being in Black Ops Cold War. 
Although his response to it in general makes me think that we have it in the game in some capacity at least. And perhaps even in the alpha they did tune it at some points, considering just how easy the lobbies felt in the first one to two hours compared to any time after that. But yeah, when it comes down to it, I would expect SBMM to be staying in Call of Duty. I don't expect it to be going anywhere anytime soon, unfortunately. But perhaps Treyarch is going to actively tune it throughout the years, so that way it's not nearly as strong as it was in Modern Warfare. But I guess only time is going to tell for that one. Now, outside of all these skill-based matchmaking talk, we also got some brand new information on snipers this year, because once gameplay was revealed and once it was announced that there's not going to be the normal flinch system this year, a lot of people realized that sniping was going to be incredibly, incredibly powerful because you wouldn't flinch if you got shot, and that would allow you to stay on target really easily. And after playing the alpha for quite some time now, uh, yeah, can confirm, sniping is pretty crazy, right? Uh, I've had times where I've shot someone with a war machine who was sniping and they didn't flinch whatsoever. So it's something that can definitely be abused, but have no fear, Tony Flame actually tweeted out saying, okay, let's talk sniping in Cold War. Crossplay is coming, but we knew it wouldn't be in the alpha. We buff snipers to evaluate their performance in this alpha specifically. Snipers will have balance changes for the upcoming beta based on our analytics data this weekend. So even though this is not a direct touch on the flinch system per se, I think it's clear that that's probably the most powerful aspect of the snipers right now. So come the beta, we should see some pretty big changes and weapon tuning coming to the snipers specifically. And then I'm also kind of curious to see if some other weapons are going to be tuned as well. Considering things like the AK-74U and uh, even the Type 63 are really, really effective in the current build. Again though, only time is going to tell for that. Then, Tony Flame also mentioned that there's a lot of stuff they already have planned to improve and change. I will say he didn't give specifics here, but he did say, Wow, data shows a lot of you are playing the Black Ops Cold War Alpha. This is truly an early alpha build with multiple structural improvements, tons of polish and features yet to come. It's an early peak of where we're going, we'll get to the final product together. Now, we know we're playing an older build of the alpha right now. Uh, I want to say we're like two or three updates behind at this point, considering this seems to be the same build that the content creators were playing early a few weeks back. So, there's a very long list of things that could end up changing, and apparently, there is a lot that we haven't seen yet as well. Which, honestly, leaves me hopeful for a game that feels even better during the beta and even at launch too. Also, while we are on the topic of things changing, I did want to point out a few issues that I've noticed so far that could definitely use some fixes. On the off chance that a Treyarch dev or someone from Activision is actually watching this video, and we can leave a positive impact on the game. Uh, I've noticed specifically on the map Moscow, uh, you start running and you can move around the map before the game actually starts. When the countdown timer is still going on, you can start running out of your spawns. So that's kind of a big issue. Obviously, you're getting a pretty big head start. Then I've also noticed something that I'm deeming the desk pop glitch, where sometimes when you try to reload cancel, your weapon is actually going to fire a shot without you pressing the trigger. Obviously, if you're not using a suppressor, that gives away your position. Kind of unfortunate there. Uh, then finally, motion blur resets every single game, and you have to go and turn it off every single game. Uh, just a quick tip, don't play with motion blur on, at least in my own opinion. Uh, turning it off makes it way, way easier to see things, at least in my own opinion. And having to turn it off every single match is definitely a bit of a nuisance to say the least. However, overall, I'd say I am actually enjoying my time on the game a lot. Uh, the matchmaking does feel a bit weird, but the gunplay seems really, really good. Uh, I like the time to kill a lot. To be honest, going to PS4 after playing on PC for so long does feel a bit strange. Uh, so I don't think my concerns when it comes to it feeling clunky in some aspects there are really justified. Just because PC is so much smoother all around. But by all means, let me know what you guys think of the alpha so far down in the comments below. But yeah, with all of that being said, those are effectively some of the updates that we currently have regarding Black Ops Cold War. And that is going to wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here and you want to stay up to date with everything going on in the world of Call of Duty, from news to updates to tips, uh, pretty much everything like that, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. That way you'll always know whenever I upload a new video. As I mentioned earlier, right now Code Immortal will actually get you 30% off of your G Fuel order. So if you want to grab anything there, be it a new tub, a shaker cup, a starter pack, anything like that, Code Immortal has got you covered. 
But once again, thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.